Hi everybody, I'm Ian Harrington. And I'm Bobby. R64 Bear. See, I went with like my last name, so the, the etiquette is to go with your last name. Names do not defy me. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> we are the writers, directors, editors, producers, lead actors. Don't forget editing. I said editors. Oh. I don't listen to you half the time. Anyway, of the movie that is not in the frame that I'm hoping Bobby will grab along with the other thing. Thank you. Of Ian and Bobby's epic quest to rent a movie. Also, apparently props. We, we did the props. Anyway. Uh, we, we released this about a year ago, uh, give or take a couple days now, and we decided that we're going to do a commentary on it. So that's what you're about to watch. Uh, any, any other thoughts? Uh, enjoy. Indeed. Okay, here we are on the menu screen. Um, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the menu of this. Oh, yeah. I mean, it looks, it looks very much like an actual DVD. Um, menu. There's different screens too, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's something I was really excited by. You get your special features and you got your scene selection. And you know, they're all actually fairly easy to work. Uh, we just got the trailer played in the background here, which is kind of disappointed by, but I cut this together really quickly and I didn't feel like going to grab other things to film or cutting together another trailer. Uh, I don't know, what, what could have replaced this menu screen better? Um. Could have had a, uh, I don't know. Actually, now that I think about it, I never really thought about it. <laughs> yeah. yeah? I don't know, it's just that's something I'd always wonder about. Like, what, what could have possibly filled in better? Uh, but anyway, we're about to just uh, hit play the movie. Uh, if you downloaded the torrent, which of course is free, uh, you can just begin playing the movie in three, two, one. Rated R. Yes, I thought I was clever. <laughs> no one else does. You know, start films. Oh, yeah, who? Yeah. My avatar. Uh-huh. And now... I thought that was a cool effect. I think it looks awesome that yeah. way. And now we just watch as... My my production company logo comes in and shits all over that. Oh, God. <laughs> that was one thing I told Ian. Um, I had... he We had to have my uh, production company uh, first before his because there's no way I'm going to follow up after that. <laughs> <laughs> No one's going to give a shit. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. There's some problems with this, but I still think it's awesome. Yeah. Man. Still better than mine. Yeah. I could probably do it again today and it'd be a lot better, though. <laughs> uh, just because my computer can actually process 3D. A long did... time ago, in a neighborhood far, far away. Uh, oh, God. This was so awesome watching this for the first time. Yeah. Ian and Bobby's Epic Quest Room movie. My, I, have, I had a really hard time with spacing. Look how weird that looks. <laughs> um... And this is the part where no one can read it because we, yeah, spacing. Long ago, there was a grand adventure to Georgetown. Eden David set out upon it and encountered grave danger, the dreaded evil of Little N. In the meantime, Bobby and Scott made a horrid film about Wonder Boy. After realizing their foolish ways, they went forth to try and catch up with Ian and David, having little knowledge of the peril the two were entangled in. Without explanation, Scott turned into the hero he portrayed and gallantly saved the day. With no real help from Bobby. Oh, and Nick and Phil were involved in some way. Pretty sure it was gay. Years passed, and times kind of changed, but not really. People still acted the same, but their circumstances did change. David moved in with his girlfriend. Ian committed to continuing to live at home, and his free time expanded. He used this as an excuse to make movies. Bobby continued to live with his parents, but his age brought resentment over time. Scott went on to become one of the newest and most popular superheroes around. This was not beneficial to Bobby's situation, and it is here we begin our story. That was... Oh, God. <laughs> right? To have our own, you know, Star Wars intro, that's just... That, that just trumps all the problems with it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and this actually, was this the very first thing we shot? Uh, I believe it was the second thing we shot. Okay. Mm. 
That wasn't actually a line. Well, no, what happened is Bobby tells Matt, okay, here's how you're going to act. And you're just going to like, this is going to be the mood you present. And he said those words. And then Matt decided to quote him. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know, I still do like this opening sequence a lot. I think it looks oh, great. Yeah. Um, still works. <laughs> joke that about Nick's name that no one ever gets. <laughs> Phil's name comes in way too fast. David has the fade. <laughs> I don't know why I felt the need to put everything in there, because now I just realized there are no more intro credits. <laughs> That's kind of weird. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's like everything has to get in before Matt takes the pill, apparently. <laughs> um, and here's... <laughs> we should have just kept him quiet the entire movie. <laughs> oh, God. That hat. I that love is that. the greatest hat. Yes. <laughs> he almost didn't want to wear this. Um, I talked him into it at the last second, and then he really loved the hat. Um, oddly enough. <laughs> and this is the part that grosses everyone out. No one's ever like, oh, by the way, uh, it's not shot in sequence. <laughs> <laughs> right? Uh, that, that, made, that made me feel pretty good watching, you know, watching with other people. They're like, oh, God, that's nice. I'm like, yes, we grow someone out. <laughs> mm. Apparently, this movie is just about waking up. Um, yeah, after a great night of sleeping, like Milan said. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> after just a long, fun night of sleeping. Yeah. yeah. Now, how much of that was actually your dog, and how much of it was the sound effect? Do you remember? Actually, all the dog. Really? Yeah. Now, I remember we used a sound effect. Oh, uh, we used her, her sound right here. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. We're still getting close. <laughs> uh, <laughs> a little over the top, but here's where we get the subtle fact that Bobby is a Batman fan. Um, <laughs> that's why this scene is important. It's not just because Bobby's, like, determined to take his shirt off in every movie from now on. <laughs> My dick. <laughs> Everybody laughed. Oh, God. <laughs> Steve actually came up with his own lines in this part, too. What are you still doing living at my house? Well, see, the thing is, why don't you make something of your life like your brother Scott? He's a superhero. I had a little look at that, and what the hell is wrong with you? Uh, wait, I know. Uh, uh, I'd cut that too late. You're ugly, and you're going to die alone. That's the thing I notice about watching this again. A lot of the cuts are just a little... Like, I, I don't know why. I had this thing about not cutting something until someone was just about to be on screen as opposed to when they were coming on screen. Mm. Um, slow motion, Ian, just in case anyone's interested. Uh, I can show a little skin too, Bobby. What? Get at me. God, I was so happy, like, so excited when I found out that Captain Logan and uh, Vance was, was going to be on the movie. Yeah, right? Wasn't that, that was, cool? That was so awesome. And it, it was so like, hey, would you guys be interested in being in our movie? <laughs> sure. Why not? We actually have celebrities in our movie. Kinda. Sure. <laughs> They're my celebrities. Not anyone else I actually know celebrities. <laughs> but. <laughs> They're pretty awesome. Yeah. Yeah. That is a sexy man. Now, like, Milan complains about the camera quality of this. I think it still looks really good, considering it was shot on, you know, just a home video camera. I think once you see it on a big screen, it definitely... Yeah. I mean, it, it holds up fairly well. Uh, part of that's just knowing how to render, people. A uh, little bit of foreshadowing there. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, this didn't work out as well as I remembered. <laughs> yeah, we could have done a little bit better with that. Yeah, that was the very first time I did anything like that. And actually gets yeah. better. See, the thing is, it's, it's only bad because the last scene is so good, and these were edited in different orders. Uh-huh. So I think that's why, because the last scene with the fake TV looks great. Yeah. Um, though the news broadcast is still damn sexy. <laughs> uh... You know, the I only think problem this, with it is it's too good. It's too good. Yeah, that was that was. We asked someone if it looked like an actual news broadcast, and goes, 
It does, but like, like a good one, not a local news. And if everybody gets, if, if you get all the jokes inside this little scroll down here, get the fuck out of my head. <laughs> because you should not be able to understand all of these jokes unless you are Bobby or myself. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Every now and then, like, we'll have someone that, you know, like, Scott was the first one to actually read all the bottom. Yeah. And just, like, he enjoyed the most of it. Yeah. I mean, but there are still jokes that, like, if outside of our circle, that no one should ever get. Um, <laughs> lottery ticket numbers. Yeah. I actually forgot that one. <laughs> the grueling desert. I just love that line. <laughs> I love how the continuity. Um, well, yeah, Laden, you mentioned this. Bin Laden well, actually caused his own death. Yeah, because uh, Bobby says that 9/11 or something about 9/11 inspired him to make a film about a superhero, and then. We find out that Wonder Boy kills Bin Laden. So, okay, here we go. I used this recently in my effect versus effect video. <laughs> and that doesn't hold up as strongly as I remember, uh, the, the flying effect. Yeah. It looks okay, it's just, uh, if, we, if Scott had, like, kept his legs together when he jumped, it probably would have been better. Mm -hmm. It's just his legs were just so wide yeah. out and now, you know, not moving. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. Mm. And <laughs> <laughs> still funny. <laughs> people don't know I did Nate's voice. Um, yeah. People thought we actually went and got somebody. <laughs> you gotta admit, Nathan for his age is actually not bad for you know the physically acting, physical acting he does. Oh yeah, I mean it's it's really good on that end. Um, fake doorbell. Uh, Bobby's house doesn't have a working doorbell. <laughs> um, Dude, film Awkward acting bad. from everybody in this scene. Yeah, <laughs> that's my least favorite acting in the whole movie, right there. The whole that right there. Yeah. Hey, mom, where's all my clothes? This is probably the worst acting in the movie. Yeah. Though. Yeah, this scene was just really, you know, for you know, for parents are really hard to get good acting. Yeah, I mean, that's what was so surprising about it was Steve was so on. Yeah. And your mom's like, eh. Uh, it, your mom's like, not bad. It's just, it's typical parent acting, you know? Yeah. Um, it's a lot better in the uh, scene you see a letter on, but not like a lot of improvement, but. Uh, I swear. Less awkward. Yeah. 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 Here's me forgetting my running joke so I put it in with uh, <laughs> dub once again Bobby's a Batman fan yes. keep in mind Bobby is a Batman fan uh, it, it plays in later <laughs> people said that joke came out of nowhere but no it's it's in there several times yeah. uh, <laughs> we hint towards it just here and there you know we don't. We actually Hughes every joke we pretty much have in the movie. We actually do Hughes again. It's not just a throw. There, there are a handful of them, but yeah, most of the jokes in this movie are comebacks. Um, all the way up, to even this little point right here, where I, where it's you and I talking while you're heartbroken. Uh huh. Uh, you know, just pat Bobby on the shoulder. <laughs> it's the movie's a giant circle, and here's the worst scene with the audio. And the weird thing is. I remember working on this, and the audio sounds great yeah. on the computer. <laughs> what does it is the bass. Um, yeah. <laughs> Overpowers it. Definitely. Uh. Definitely had a few people, uh, quite a few people look at me on the street. Really? Yeah. I don't remember it. Uh, Which is, like, you know, weird for Fort Wayne, because... Yeah, I mean, this like, a... really, you're getting judged? Dude, I went to the mall the other day and saw a dude wearing Pepsi pajamas and a wife beater walking out of H&M with a bag. I was like, dude, you just go like, ah, I'm gonna go to H and M. <laughs> just get up and leave the house. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And then Nick's drive. Nick was uh, the way we did this shot was Phil sitting on the back of the car with the camera, <laughs> and Nick is driving, and Nick just starts driving really fast. <laughs> I, I, I was like, what the hell are you doing, Nick? And then we just you could tell we just walked really fast, like oh. But still try to stay in character. Yeah. It was... Uh-oh. No? Okay, we're good. Uh, 
No. No. Glitch. Maybe. I don't know. Okay. Let's let's hope that doesn't happen again. <laughs> we might be a couple seconds behind you guys now. Uh, who knows? See, this story just... It, it was much funnier in my head, and I don't love my delivery on it. Wow, we skipped. What's going on? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, we're skipping around. Hold on. Let's see if it figures out what to do. Huh. Uh, give us a sec, guys. Bear with us. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Okay, what's happening? Come on now. It's like the PlayStation just restarted. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Uh, sorry guys. We'll tell you where we're at in a second. Pause the video, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> I've never had this problem before. Huh. It just it went back to the beginning. Uh well, well we're fast forwarding now. Did we ever put uh chapters? Yeah, but I just it, I think it's gonna be faster to just do yeah. this. That was one thing, uh okay, that at least we had chapters in this. Or no, there were several other movies we made before and if you uh would hit the uh, chapter forward, it would go straight to the uh, title menu. Really? That's weird. I, I thought that he, um, and I could have sworn in some of the other ones we actually were really careful about the chapters. Mm hmm No, I think no, it was, uh, Seether, the original movie, uh, Seether. Mm, probably. Because I remember Georgetown had chapters. It was kind of funny, though, because it, it really reminded me of, uh, the VHS days. Really? Yeah, just, like, actually, physically, you have to, you know, watch it, you know, rewind. Instead of, you know, oh, chapter, chapter, chapter. It makes you kind of, you know, feel a little, you know, nostalgic. Just... Fair enough. Uh, yeah, sorry, guys. We're going past... I don't know. It's maybe this weird part in the movie where it doesn't want us to watch it for some reason. It's actually kind of important because it's one of my favorite jokes. <laughs> uh, shit. That's weird. Huh. I don't know when the last time I watched this DVD, though, was. So, I don't be why. Uh, no! Not the commentary! <laughs> no! The commentary is in danger! The commentary is in danger! <laughs> uh. Exterminate! No, do not exterminate the commentary. Uh, let's try just go to the scene selection. Yeah, it's just, it's frozen up. It's freezing up the PlayStation. It's weird. It's never done that before. Yeah. Sad face. Uh. So how's it going, guys? Yeah, right? I swear <laughs> this never happens. <laughs> <laughs> like, a couple people had problems with DVD. Most of the time it's worked for me. I This is the first time I've ever had trouble watching it. Mm -hmm. So this is weird. I had troubles with the uh, special features. Really? Oh, not special features, but the, uh, we, uh, there was a select few, uh, director's editions. Yeah. Or, uh, and the, the second disc I got, they had, um, all the other movies that we've done. Oh, uh, yeah. And, uh, those, uh, didn't exactly work too well on mine. Are you sitting on a remote? Thank you. Yep. Sorry, guys. Really am. Uh, shit has gone wrong. <laughs> Are you sitting on a different remote? I don't... No? That's weird. That shouldn't have happened. Then. Uh, I'm just waiting for the PlayStation to respond. I guess I'll restart it. Sorry, guys. Professionalism. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try going for the scene selection. Uh, hope that solves the problem. Anyway, yeah. Yep. How about the director's commentaries? Uh, that's so that's normally not a problem for them. <laughs> we should have gone with the digital file as opposed to the TV. <laughs> <laughs> that's the good thing is if if you happen to want to watch this movie, there's a free torrent of it. So. <laughs>
I only have one DVD left. Uh, anyway. Really? So if anyone's bought, yeah. Wow, they're, they're, you had a lot of DVDs too. Yeah, I'd like I made fifty copies. Nice. Right, right. I thought so. I got one DVD left to give away, or sell. I mean, if you want to help me out as far as the cost for making DVDs goes, <laughs> uh, you're perfectly welcome. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, you never noticed that. Nope. <laughs> Change and uh, I was wondering why why that was on there because um what oh the Back to the Future theme yeah, you're wondering why that's in the torrent yeah because when you get the torrent you get all the uh, soundtrack of the uh, DVD features yeah and Back to the Future was on there I'm like why is Back to the Future on there uh awesome I got Back to the Future theme song on my computer now yeah <laughs> okay let's rewind just a little bit here and okay this looks like it'll actually work now. All right, so here we are. We're back to us walking and, and talk, me telling a really a story that is really funny in my head, and I think it could still work in a movie, just not. And in now this we're one. in Ian's house. Yeah. Okay. Yes. But yeah, I totally agree. Uh, it was it, that's one of the things I wish I'd cut. Uh, to be honest with you, and here's. Another awesome news segment. I love I love it when you just turn on the TV and there's breaking news. <laughs> <laughs> it's very convenient in our universe. Yeah. Like, you know, people criticize me for having cheesy, you know, effects and bad editing, but I think this looks fantastic. What was that uh, joke about Vader on the bottom? I'm sorry, what? There was a joke about Vader and the uh, Catholics. I don't remember it off the top of my head. I'd uh. have to go back and read it. And here we go with the live news broadcast that falls apart. <laughs> See, I look at this and I go, why didn't I put the live up above his head? <laughs> because it's hard to see because the desk is kind of reddish with this lighting. Yeah. Um, but, you know, you live and you learn. And there's the Jew as the uh, furious spellcaster. And, uh, you know, we made that decision fairly early on to just not care what the weather was to film anyway. Yeah. And he was our excuse for that. <laughs> and I think it's hilarious. <laughs> Oh, I love this scene coming up. Oh. This is fun. This is a lot better with this music as opposed to the uh, the YouTube cuts. Yeah. Clark Kent, Bobby. This is probably my favorite scene inside the house. Really? Uh, of the first half. Okay, not including the phone calls. Okay. I just like how mean I am in this. <laughs> like, that's the thing. Milan always kills me with how he acts like I'm really super mean to him. <laughs> But it's like, it's not just him. Uh, you know, I've made fun of the way you dress before, Bobby. This is just much more exaggerated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We actually had to film this twice because I'm an idiot. And I accidentally <laughs> taped over the original film. No! Um, and the first time we did it, Bobby had on, like, uh, you know those stockings that you hang around Christmas? Since this is really a Christmas movie, guys. Um, you know those stockings that you hang around Christmas? Bobby had those on his feet, and he tried to do a cool jump kick thing, but then he landed on his ass, and it was an amazing outtake, and unfortunately we lost it, because I taped over it. Yeah. <laughs> See, I wish I hadn't used the first part of this joke. I wish I'd just gone with the second, because the second is much funnier. <laughs> That's just a much funnier line. Um... <laughs> That was pretty badass looking, though. Yeah. Oh, God. I don't care. It's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, it is. You're not a real man unless you've worn a dress. I'm just saying, they're surprisingly comfortable, though. They no are. Lie. Yeah? It's surprisingly? It's actually really comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> got a lot of air. <laughs> Bobby's This is not acting. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby, like, totally forgot we were filming and everything. <laughs> That was when it got hilarious. It's like, I remember the premiere, people just cracked up at that line. No. I like the lighting. You almost can't tell it's color corrected here, but I, I think it looks fantastic here. Mm -hmm. Austin Powers reference. Um, Sometimes people miss that, but like, uh, it's... I find it extremely hilarious. <laughs> yeah. 
that's the thing is, my jokes are really for the rewatch um, crowd yeah. as opposed to the very first one. A lot of my lines are really for rewatch value. Still love the use of a. Uh, Walking in and out doors. Oh yeah, it's really nice and so. It's like I just have a magical hallway where yeah. as soon as you close the door, everything that you need to happen happens. And no one just you know questions. I love how it's very natural in that world. Yeah, I mean it, it happens every single time too. Uh, there's every prop that we could find uh, in the movie. <laughs> um, <laughs> really subtle gag there. Bobby, I emailed it to you before it is. This isn't acting either. <laughs> I just forgot the camera was off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. You did? Oh. Oh. <laughs> I don't know why we kept the frame this way. Yeah. It's kind of awkward. Yeah, it is. There's, like, a lot of empty room in this frame. It's good for you to walk in towards everybody. We should have... Yeah, we should have cut it or something. But I think this is, like, the only one I think we actually have that's awkward down here, sh shot-wise. Yeah, I mean, there are a couple others that are... Eh, it was a good idea, but we didn't execute it that well. But, yeah, this one's the one that's really, like... Um, <laughs> I do like this. Dude, this is all on the spot, by the way. Um, I just knew where I needed to get with it, and that was it. Um, okay, so this movie's gonna be awesome, man. Let's go make our costumes, alright? Let's do it. Yeah. Awkward acting. Don't look at me, Ian. Uh, this still hilarious. Are you sure you have, like, no See, here's the thing. Is I'm like, okay, Bobby, when you go ahead and sit down here next to the sewing machine, don't, make sure you don't turn it in, on. All right, here's how you're gonna do it. You're gonna do the da most dangerous way possible. And then he actually does what he does with his hands here. Look at his thumbs. You never do that when you're sewing, ever. And Bobby just sat down and naturally did it. I'm like, that. You're gonna do that. Um, <laughs> Say that, Ian. <laughs> I, I wish we'd thought to leave your thumb bandaged through the entire oh. movie. That would have been hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, that would be awesome. Lines no one can understand because I'm in a mask. Which people don't get. That's the point. Yeah. Like this is the part of us making the movie, and it's supposed to be silly, ridiculous for makes no sense. Yeah, and it, it really is. Uh, I love doing the costumes. I uh, wearing the costumes. That was fun. Oh, it was so over the top. <laughs> I just grabbed everything that I could find in my drawer and started making costumes out of it. joke Bobby kept wanting to use, and I just don't think it's that funny. I actually had quite a few people that actually thought it was funny. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, fair enough. I just never worked. Maybe it's because I haven't seen either of these movies. Yeah, it's... Um, Three Dancing and Footloose, not too much of a difference. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, I just, I haven't seen either of them, so I never thought it was that funny. <laughs> um, I guess if it works, Do you, do you know how much gas is? How much is gas again? <laughs> running gag. For hey. some reason, it's off when it was finally rendered. I don't know why. Yeah. Good point. Uh, why don't we just walk then? Dude, it took David and I all day to walk to Georgetown. Continuity joke! <laughs> <laughs> no, that was you and David. You know, long seriously, have no idea how fast it took us to run back to, you know, my place. Or run to the church. Fair enough. If you, but that, you only move fast when you're running. Apparently walking or anything it just takes hours. True. Uh, true. This is, I think this is great. I really should have, I, I have the space for it and I know how to do it now. I should have put like a, like Bobby shaped chicken or like a, a chicken with a Bobby head like in a thought bubble right there. Oh God. In this empty space in the frame. Uh, that's the one thing, is there's a lot of empty frame space in this just because of the height dif difference between Bobby and I. 
So it was hard to balance it out a lot of the time, and we yeah. didn't want to use like a Dutch angle every single shot. And that's something else you'll notice is a lot of the shots are more stable than you notice in a typical. Um, hold on, I just like this line. This this is actually I I told David, hey, I want you to be in the movie. What are you gonna have me do? I told him the scene, and he said yes. <laughs> <laughs> Jessica's not a bad actress. Yeah. Um, <laughs> for the first time, you know, it's definitely not bad. Yeah. <laughs> I could have put the birds in, but it's better that we did. Yeah, we uh, what, still wanted, you know, as the movie goes on, we wanted it to get more ridiculous that way, but yeah. start off. Hey, David, it's Ian. Turns off the phone. That's <laughs> that's not even acting. Um, yeah. that's, that's just David being David. <laughs> um, that was one thing we wanted with the movie was... Uh, Kind of what the people have actually seen our previous movies to kind of think it's gonna be like our other movies. Yes, yeah. I don't want to talk about it. Um, but we, that's what really works about the special effects of it is it just it helps sell it so much. Um, but anyway, what I was saying is you'll notice about this movie uh, compared to other movies of its I don't know, <laughs> style. Yes, Phil running on the highway. Uh, I found a way to make it look a lot better. Uh, did you see him in Geeky Gentleman? Because I use the same footage, but I make it look so much better, and he's not, you know, red. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I figured out a way to fix that. <laughs> anyway, um, not just uh, one of the things I like about it, and I keep trying to make this point, other movies in this style would have a lot of shaky cam, but since it's mainly just Bobby and I, the majority of the time filming, a lot of it had to be on tripod, like it was a necessity to have it on a tripod. It actually worked out really well, um, just by pure mistake. Yeah. <laughs> Would have been better if there was something to like merit that reference. Um, and then Phil goes on the on-ramp. <laughs> 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 and actually, the curvation works there. <laughs> and here's one of our continuity errors. Bobby doesn't have the right phone. Um, you and Nate should have just switched phone cases for a couple weeks. Yeah. Well, months. <laughs> Raj, one of our favorite characters. Uh, David wearing all of my clothes except for the hat. Um, <laughs> Would give us a ride to move around this car. Well, I don't have a car, but sure. Um, how exactly are you going to get us there if you don't have a car? Duh. I don't know. Well, where are you now? I got anti marijuana riding. Have you heard of this stuff? It's really bad for you. I just love that line. Oh, it is really hard to find sound bites of people pro uh, people protesting. Yeah, surprisingly, like at least protest against uh, you know pot. This isn't even a protest against pot; it's a protest against drugs. Um, yeah. They're saying pick up your crack and don't come back. Um, sure. That's the biggest problem with this, um, as far as dialogue went is you get so used to talking to Bobby and he'll just, you know, say stuff that it's, like, kind of mumbly sometimes. Yeah. Uh, and I just, I wouldn't catch it because we were hanging out so much doing this, I just <laughs> got used to it. And there are a couple of different parts like that where it's just, like, really off. <laughs> I like reflection shots, I've noticed. They just kind of naturally find their way into the stuff I shoot. Yeah. Um, oh, you can see me with the camera. <laughs> Never noticed that before. Oh... Uh, this old place. You can't push me around anymore, Nate. You can't see Heather. Anymore. He God, Caleb did such a good job of being yeah. a dweeb. <laughs> <laughs> see, I wish I wish I'd told Heather to like stand on something <laughs> just to make everyone look taller than me. <laughs> <laughs> I love that scene. So. <laughs> Best stutter. Uh, that, that was good. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. People were dying during this part of the premiere. It was always awesome. So hard to watch Ian edit the scene too. Uh, oh, just laugh. Oh yeah. One of my favorite things about uh, the movie, even the YouTube cut, is we actually got permission from uh, DJ Unk, the guy that's doing the theme right now, to, to use that on YouTube. 
and I just I was so happy that happened. Um, yeah. You know, like that's that was really rare because we weren't able to pay him or anything. He just did that, you know, to be nice because I asked. <laughs> See the blood there is actually uh jello shooter. Uh jello shots, what do you call them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. jello shots. Um just we we rubbed a red jello shot over all over Caleb. <laughs> this was just a little much, but it's still funny. Yeah. Um This is like probably our most offensive scene right here. Yeah, where she's sleeping with the thirteen year old. <laughs> and the guy just, and the 13 year old Nella Malone just comes in and just like basically almost, it's basically rape. <laughs> no, because she's totally giving it up. <laughs> oh, my head. Oh, Heather. Well, technically it was rape by Heather. <laughs> True, it's statutory rape. I, this scene was hilarious. I don't know why I did this either. It's, it's kind of just lingers here for too long. Hello? Hey, brother, it's, uh, Ian. Here's like a shot that was a good idea, it just wasn't very well executed. Yeah. Can you invite to the video store? Uh, well, you know what I'm saying? That doesn't really make any sense because I don't have a car. <laughs> oh. Okay. Roto scripting on yeah. both of our parts, by the way. Yeah, so, uh, what are we gonna do? Uh, well, I guess, I guess Bobby and I will just call somebody else. That was actually Bobby's line that I totally used. <laughs> uh, just, it came off hilarious. Wow. Uh, just, yeah. so what are we going to do? So, Call somebody else? Yeah, 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 it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's another one of those mumble lines. It's a good thing, though. Like, once I watch for one, watch these, uh, those words I'll never mumble again. The Wonder Boy ones? Yeah. <laughs> like in the last movie, uh, where I'm, I say, uh, further I do. Yeah, you'll never... Further to do. A uh, further boo. Right, I can't. Even, I can't mo say it that way again. Subconsciously, <laughs> so I have blocked it out of my mind. Just because everybody's made fun of you for it. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> you know, Eventually, if I make enough movies, I'm gonna have like I'm gonna be one of the groups. Just one sec. There's a line coming up here that I just I gotta point something out. <laughs> there, in the background, actually, uh, Devin's girlfriend was in the kitchen doing some dishes, but it just sounds like she drops one <laughs> after she after she hears, I quit having sex. <laughs> what? <laughs> I just love that. Uh, we got to do. I was I was thinking, okay, you can say either one of these lines, and then we start recording. And he says he combines all three into one. And I was like, thank you for the commitment, David. It's brilliant. <laughs> and he didn't think it'd be that funny. And after he saw this movie, I got a call from him. He was like, dude, I watched it. It was fucking hilarious. That <laughs> was one thing I love about this movie, too. Like, it took us six months to film this, right? Or you know, do the whole film. And everyone, this was known as the movie that never was going to get done. Yep. According to everyone. Because, like, you know, it was, usually it took us about, like, two months at the most to do other Yeah, I think that's ones. the longest that it took ever. Everyone just kind of figured, uh, you guys are never going to finish this movie. Subtle little shout out to Ultra Ball in there. Hey, Andrew, it's Ian. Um, I'm just wondering, can you give Bobby and I a ride to a movie store? Hell no. <laughs> this is actually probably my favorite phone call. Yeah. Uh, and I, I just so, like, randomly was able to talk him into doing it, too. Show, every time some shit go down. And I ain't trying to call him into I love how basically like, this is probably one of the best phone call scenes. For one, it adds a lot more to our characters. It gives us a lot more depth. It gives us continuity that hasn't happened. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see that movie. <laughs> Let's get Bobby line. <laughs> like we both do this same thing with the phone. <laughs> Completely by accident, but I just find that so <laughs> funny that we just we're both yelling at the phone. Like <laughs> hey, cool man. So no. I love it piece. Like it's just like it gives me the idea that once a long time ago, like Andrew was like, no, oh, that yeah, sounds totally. fun. And then hang, one to hanging out with one day with Bobby and Ian, and shit just goes completely wrong. <laughs> but I mean, it had to be a progression. Like it had to happen multiple times. <laughs> <laughs> Or like maybe like he was the Matt the other episode, that other movie and just... Nick actually edited his side of this, 
And we didn't know he was going to use that that callback joke to adventure, which we thought was brilliant. Uh, we saw this for the first time and just yeah, cracked the fuck up. Uh, this one we had to reshoot because um, there was a continuity error in what Bobby was saying and what Nick was getting at. Yeah. Uh, and it was like so hard because it was the last, literally, this is the last thing we shot. Yeah. Right here. Uh, that, that take of it, actually. Just that one side yeah. of the take. Where the camera flips over to the other side. <laughs> That's the last thing we ever shot. And it was so painful to uh, do it again. Because he was like, I wanted to cut my hair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I couldn't cut my hair for the longest time because, you know. Dude, look at my beard. <laughs> it like, just random scenes. It looks like I just have, like, like there's some really bad static electricity <laughs> epidemic. Because my beard just goes, like, out more and in more. Yeah, Bobby, they're not even real women. It's just... <laughs> <laughs> I like that a lot. <laughs> I really do. Sony product placement. <laughs> Pirate Bay. <laughs> this took so long to film, and we weren't even filming for the majority of it, is the thing. We did like a 20 minute uh, shoot where we were only recording the audio, and Bobby has this, or not Bobby, Scott has this one line where he's, he's doing it differently every time because just, you know, just, just say whatever. And he's, he, d he goes through the, you know, you'll end up a loser virgin living with his parents. And that is not ideal. That cracked me the fuck up. I don't know why. It's just the funniest phrasing of it to me. Oh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, we actually, this was what, the first time we did it after we started filming? Yeah. Yeah. I love it. Just like, great thing with uh, Scott's acting was... Every time he would retake his shot, uh, take, it was, he'd be come up, he'd bring something new to the table every time, whenever he would redo one. Yeah. And it got funnier and funnier. Ah, damn, we missed the line. I like that line, too. No. Uh, Mostly right here. <laughs> I find that funny. Uh, it's so random. I don't want to be a thief. It's illegal. It's, you know wrong. Ian and Bobby's epic quest for red movie is really about the dangers of piracy. <laughs> um, that's the moral of the story, children. Don't pirate movies because renting them is so much easier. So much more fun. Um, <laughs> Another hint that I love Batman. Yep. That one was a little too on the nose for me. There, the, you should have just—I uh, don't know what it, what could have been done to fix that line a little bit more, but it just feels a little uh, too obvious. Um, maybe it's just obvious on recall. It just—it feels yeah. a little, little much. Uh, I don't know. I actually thought that's what you were talking about when you said it was a little much in that scene. What the? Uh, the my acting was a little, a little bit too much over the top. The, the acting, not so much, just the, the line itself, the Batman line, is just a little, it's a little on the oh, nose, yeah. you know? But at the time, like, I thought, at the time, like, you know, you, you were just telling me that the acting was a little bit over the top, so I actually, like, my reaction to you actually saying that is me to the actual scene, I thought you were, you know, stopping the scene right there. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Huh. I'm sorry, you know the Scott you speak of. Perhaps you've got the wrong phone number. This was actually really hard to shoot. Um, th it's dubbed, and you can probably tell that. The most annoying thing is, like, my camera had to have the microphone jack plugged in, right? And I have it plugged in, and I'm recording while we're getting the shot set up. And then randomly, right when I s you hear me go, three, two, one, audio's gone. The jack just came slightly unplugged. That happened... Quite a few times. That was so. No, actually, that only happened I think once or twice. Yeah, like not uh, luckily. Yeah, yeah, I'm a, oh, yeah, not quite a few, but yeah, not, not too much. But man, that was just enough that it became really annoying because it was never a scene with just Bobby and I. It was always when we had somebody that like took forever to get a hold of. <laughs> right. Uh. Everybody's just slightly gay in this movie. <laughs> 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 All the main characters just 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 got that little bit of flair to them. Um, <coughs> Manly things. <laughs> That's a good line. <laughs> Like I said, no, I, my lines just crack me up. I know it's a little narcissistic, but I just, I love my one-liners in this. Uh, mm -hmm. 
explaining so Matt's life. I don't know if you didn't understand what I was trying to get at with that scene or what. Uh, I finally got it after the movie. Oh. Unfortunately. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. You just didn't understand the dialogue? Uh. Oh, well. Oh, Matt's Matt. Matt's so happy. Yeah. Ugh. I like the color correction on that. It's it's not as apparent as it was when we first started doing it. It's it yeah. blends in really well. It just looks like it's sunny in his house mm -hmm. right now, um, which I like about it. And it works really good outside once you finally get Matt outside. Yeah, definitely. Howdy <laughs> like I know he said howdy doody. Um, just look at my face. I look so like annoyed. Um, <laughs> See, it's, his delivery is flat is what gets it when he starts talking too much. It's just, it's, sure thing, pal. It's, it's, sure thing, pal. You know, the, that difference there. Sound effect, Bobby doing stomach noises with his mouth. Weirdly. Uh, you see, I don't know why, like, see, it just lingers there for too long. Yeah. I, that's something I really have cut down on is, you know, necessary <laughs> cuts, stuff like that. This is one of those scenes where the audio got cut out. Yeah. And but I think it actually better. worked better that way. Yeah, that's just sound effects and Bobby whistling. Um, and here's the scene everybody talks about. <laughs> like, uh, uh, no matter what movie we're doing, just everybody brings up this scene. <laughs> like, no matter who it is, just, oh, dude, I wish I had your fridge. Yes. Really, that's the thing that sticks? <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> like, that's our iconic moment, apparently. Yeah. Uh and here's with the classical music, it works so well. Oh, yeah, that works. Oh. The beat, the Beethoven. It's, oh, it's, it's perfect. Uh, and here we go. <laughs> my eyes. I love my eyes in that. How awesome would that be, though? Like, honestly. Just, that would be amazing. Yes! I'm just like you found food. You found a actual sub. Open the refrigerator. I just, you, this is one of your best scenes acting wise, by the way. Thank you. Um, you get this under here. <laughs> close the door. Now open the freezer. Okay, now close that. This is the most awkward the construction freezer. video ever. <laughs> <laughs> See, now that I know, like, their thing, I'm, told, I'm tempted to go George Lucas with some of this stuff because, like, I could totally put a glowing effect behind the cake now. <laughs> <coughs> you can smell ice cream cake? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I guess apparently. We're so excited, it's awesome. <laughs> Donuts. Yes, donuts! <laughs> <laughs> and this was ah. actually really easy to shoot. I'll so just yeah. put everything in there and then put the camera in the fridge. Mm -hmm. um, people actually thought that was like really difficult to shoot for some reason, I don't know why. <laughs> oh, I love this scene. Oh. This was so hard to do! Oh my god! You'd never think it'd be this difficult to, you know, <laughs> film a scene. And Bobby's blocking was off you. Like, originally when we set up the shot, you were sitting closer to me. But then, just it, when you sat down naturally, it, it did not, you didn't yeah. go to the same mark. Um. <laughs> that was really hard to cut. Yeah. And we actually waited like half an hour for it. Yeah. But they can beat it. <laughs> Easiest uh, scene to film. Yeah, this is the only like the the biggest problem with the um the other cut the YouTube cut is the uh, the music here is completely different. It's, it's actually kind of humorous, I think. Really? It's uh it's just really like like if you've seen the original, it makes that scene really funny for me. I guess I don't know I I don't really care for it. I was just really tired. I was like, well, fuck it, who cares? <laughs> uh, me, apparently. <laughs> um, and, yeah, too long of a pause there, it's odd. Yeah, just some of the pacing is just a little off. And it's weird, because as many times as we watched it, you'd think I'd notice that yeah. uh, when we were editing. Yeah. <laughs> And, you know, one thing 
I'm really glad about? I got fucking lightsabers now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oddly enough, I didn't own lightsabers um, before this movie. I think I became more of a bigger Star Wars fan after this movie. Oh, really? Yeah. There's the battery on the camera charging, by the way. Uh -huh. I finished lying. Well, you know all the Star Wars fans, they have... Like, this pacing's pretty well done, as far as when we're walking up and everything. Because yeah. the conversation doesn't quit. Um. And there's, there's, there's... A Jew? Oh, yeah, I'm waiting. See, we should have, we should have cut to that sooner. Um, but, I don't know, this, this was just really random, but very funny. Um, yeah. <laughs> just a gag I've been wanting to do for a while. Originally, it was supposed to come from the cupboard that's like, you can't see it, but there's a cupboard right next to Bobby's feet, but there's a shelf just right in the middle of there, and it doesn't come out. <laughs> yeah. So. Sorry, what? <laughs> we actually did a pretty good job. Uh, this scene was shot twice again, right? Uh, yes. Yeah, unfortunately. We did a pretty good job of um, blocking it out because originally we kept the Christmas decorations up till March. Yeah. And we, we shot it the first time with all the decorations there, and then they were taken down that night. And once again, I'd, I'd filmed over the stuff, and uh, we did a pretty good job blocking it so that you couldn't tell. Um, the repulsive, abhorrent, detestable, disgusting, drunk, crucifixious, <laughs> totally horrible, horrid, camera bag in the background, and Wonder Boy action figure. Yeah, but no one noticed it. Uh, we're the only ones that noticed that. <laughs> no one's ever pointed it out to me. I don't know what any of those words mean. Yeah. Yeah. Because that makes you the winner. Then Fort Wayne. <laughs> Just puts the apple in there. <laughs> you can't quite tell this is sped up. I wish he'd pra been able to practice this a little more, you know? Mm -hmm. That's the biggest problem this has, is it's just not fluid enough. It kind of, well, for me, it kind of comes off like kind of like one of those like uh, 1930s movies. Silence. That's why I did the, uh, the, the music in there, because that really helped sell it, but I think it would have been better if it was just more fluid. Red does not own a white button-up shirt. Um, he had to borrow one of mine. Magical Christmas decorations. Uh, it's it's a Christmas movie, guys. Uh, and it's not even Mormon. What I wanted to say was Jehovah's Witness, but for some reason Mormons was in my head. Uh, I'm going to hell. <laughs> that's that's what that finger means. I'm going to hell right about now. <laughs> I wish we could have gotten a trained dog. Um, you know? Yeah. This just comes off awkwardly. I'd say this is probably biggest regret number two of the film. Why? Just the, the otter? There were clowns in the back. Oh, God, yes. All right. You might see it when Matt moves a little bit here, but um, right behind Matt, there's just this family taking pictures, and they're all dressed as clowns. What's that? There were 14 clowns behind him. Yeah. A family of clowns. <laughs> One of the most terrifying and awesome experiences I've ever had in my life. Yeah, and we, we talked about it. Matt's obviously about to get hit by the car with the Jaws theme here. Oh, and um, this was our first day of filming. Really? Yep. I could have sworn we shot the other stuff first. Uh, we probably did. Uh, yeah, we did shoot the other ones first, but uh, we lost uh, all the stuff, so we had to reshoot it. No, no, I mean the, the opening credits, I know we only shot that once. Oh, yeah. We lost the audio for the uh, microphone. Okay, yeah, you could be right, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, it was the opening credits was, oddly enough, the very first thing we shot. Uh, I don't know why I felt the need to use all of that footage. It's awkward. Uh, yeah, you can kind of see him there in the distance. Um, fairly good uh, transition with the dummy, I think. Yeah. Um, I wish we hadn't had Matt stop in the middle of the street. Other characters... <laughs> 
I love throwing the mustache out the window. That is hilarious. Um, Bobby cannot take long hair. He was getting, he was going crazy having long hair. Oh this. god, it was it gets in your nose and whatnot. And... <laughs> Almost hit the camera and Matt for real. And you can, you can definitely tell it's not even Matt, but it's hilarious. I this is so nice. I was really surprised that not a lot of people were confused with uh, seeing us twice. Yeah, I mean, the, the costume change was enough to imply that it was different people. Um, and actually, I lose this bet, technically speaking. Yeah. Uh, since some Sith used to be Jedi. Uh, most Sith nowadays used to be Jedi. Well, the bet was technically, um, wasn't the bet technically, uh... Um, they have nothing to do with each other. But yeah, that's just that's just one level of why I lose it. Um, yeah. That's, that's the biggest problem with roto scripting and, and, you know, being a director in the scene, you know? Yeah. Uh, you just, you lose track of stuff like that. <laughs> don't have any Jedi mind tricks. Waving the hand. That uh, is so funny. Because didn't he do that completely by accident yeah. in one take and then <laughs> just threw that in there? Yeah. Like, uh, mercy on your soul, gentlemen. Cheese and crackers. I love that one. Cheese and crackers. This was probably my favorite. <laughs> Nerd rage. <laughs> oh, God. That was, that was probably my favorite scene to film. Mm. Uh, like just like how I loved my disappearing episode. trash cans <laughs> <laughs> for the delivery of that line of the lines. Oh, that was something I just felt. May the like. force be with you. Yeah, it's how how I was able to deliver all those lines. I was really happy with myself. Oh yeah. I shot this like seven times because I kept forgetting to hit film or I was filming in the wrong section. Uh, I was it was weird. I don't know why. Continuity error. That's what he's waiting for. Bobby's shrinking hair. <laughs> Cut no <new> dare. Um, <laughs> it's such an obvious one, too. Uh, now, that was shot on a separate day, right? Yeah. Okay, I couldn't remember on that side of things. Uh, <laughs> Matt's doors are, like, impossible to... Like, when you open the door, you feel like you're breaking the damn handle. Yeah. Uh, so I was like... I, this is probably his best delivery. Oh, my right hair's here. even shorter now. <laughs> we had a weird problem with this audio. I could never get the original song to work again. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> just weird editing thing. Ian in the overexposed background. Um, uh, And here's something I wish we cut down. It's yeah. still really funny, but it goes on way too long. Um, I always thought it would be like a little funny if we uh, would have had a scene of some random pedestrian uh, walking by. Yeah. And actually hear us really sing. Yeah. And like this, in our world, we think we're actually really good singers. Yeah. And then it shows this guy's going around in circles in the parking lot. Just yeah, we are actually driving around in circles. Some people don't notice it. Um, yeah. Ian was the only one who actually... knew the words, even though I told you both to listen to the song. And I actually, I did a little bit, but it was only for like three days before filming. It's, you gotta... <laughs> oh, God. Uh, we sounded like retard singing it. Matt especially. <laughs> Matt sounded the worst. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, oh god, it was just so... It was the most embarrassing thing of my life, and only one other person saw it. 
<laughs> Yay, I have that over you. Uh, awesome chin itch, by the way. Thank you. Yeah, we should have just cut it down to one uh, thing. Or one or two verses, I think. Uh, because it just it goes on way too long. Mm-hmm. But I really want to do, you know, I, I still want to do a really good, you know, sing the, or uh, song section in one of the movies eventually. I think we're almost at the point now where we actually know people that actually uh, play instruments and whatnot. Yeah. Uh, we can actually probably make our own make our own song now. Yeah, probably. We can pull it off. Yeah, Buddy Caleb plays piano. Yeah. yeah Sky plays, you know, guitar and trombone. Mm -hmm. And uh, tuba. Yeah. And I Jack. don't know how many tubas we need. Just just randomly, Scott comes out actually playing the tuba in that <laughs> video. It'd be awesome. Uh, I don't know, I've shot a music video since, so I know how to edit a music video better now. Nice. Um, <laughs> split screen was cool. This is fun. And then, I just love how the split screen ends here with Bobby and I. Yeah. I must say, this was fun, that uh, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. Never mind. Weird. There must have been something that went wrong when I had to do the final render. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'm so energized. The other two are just so fucking tired of it. Uh, it's weird. We actually, slowly, we all start getting, like, you start doing it after a while. Yeah. <laughs> Matt's nose. Matt, Matt. Oh, by the way, the way that this is shot, if anyone's curious, I am sitting on the windowsill as the car drives around in circles, filming Bobby. And I don't know why we couldn't get someone to do this on the same day. And oh. I don't know why we didn't just grab some, you know, deodorant or something. Yeah. Because that looked like crap. <laughs> Microphone. Uh, no one notices it though. Yeah. <laughs> Are you okay? I was definitely really happy uh, with all the in-car shots in this movie. Yeah. Really am. Uh. It makes it look like it's a really long trip to Georgetown and stuff. <laughs> right. You guys kept like talking over this part. I'm like, guys, there, there has to be a lead up. Ah. Uh. The huge line that was outside of books, comics, and things earlier. Stay tuned. We're gonna tell you why. Yo, Bobby, we should go to uh, the comic book store. Uh, yeah. Matt? Sure, guys. Let's go. Awkward. Okay. Awkward transition scene, but totally worth it. <laughs> Cause we didn't. That wasn't. This scene wasn't originally in the script. It just. I just thought to ask randomly, and he was like, totally. Another yes. one of my favorite scenes of the whole movie. Oh, yeah. We got the film inside of comic book shop. That this is probably awesome. the best looking scene, too. Yeah. Um, see, look at the TV. There it looks great. Yeah. Uh, that wasn't actually on TV. I love this. This just so funny. <laughs> it does actually look really appropriate right there, uh -oh. I think. That's so cool. Yeah, it doesn't look great when you're actually holding it and stuff, but on film, I think the toy turned out pretty good. Yeah. Uh, we had a mistake there. No, that was that was me trying to color correct and make the cape pop. It didn't look as good as I wanted it to. Oh, uh, okay. And here's a joke only comic nerds get. Surprisingly good actor. <laughs> yep, amazing right there what he does with his hand. Yeah. That's not true. How could you not think so? He harnessed all the lights in the emotional spectrum and used them to defeat the scroll arm. I love that joke. No one gets these jokes. No one. But it's hilarious. <laughs> oh. Scott loved that part. Oh, the, the steaming ears? No, the... Uh, I was saying how you know, Wonder Boy is you know really fat. Oh yeah, like the, it's one it's giant one, ab. One giant ab. <laughs> <laughs> you know Scott's got to use that. He's probably used that a couple times now. I'm not fat. I just have one giant ab. <laughs> <laughs> 
I do love that line. It was so out of nowhere. Uh. <laughs> Well, no, what really works with that is just everybody calls Bobby fat in this movie, and no one mentions the fact that, Bo that Scott is significantly chunkier than, than Bobby is. Uh, sorry, Scott, but you are. Accept it. Sexy lens flare. Lens flare is sexy. I hope he has that shit stockpiled. Me too. And here's the scene that sets up the sequel. You can't smoke in that car. Shit, that's right. Uh, where can I go? Right behind the button. Oh, God. So do I have to do Epic Quest too? Epic Quest? No, nah, never mind. What? Never mind. <laughs> and then Phil... I love the shadow there. Oh, yeah, it's great. Excuse me, sir. Can I have some change? Nick edited this scene, but he doesn't know how to edit audio very well. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> What's funny is he's just dressed so ridiculously. And notice Star Wars keeps popping up as well, by the way. <laughs> um, <laughs> that looks good, though, with the yeah. flares and stuff. Time travelers are homeless people. Um, <laughs> Bobby actually forgets his line. <laughs> and I was so surprised they let us do this. I had to oh. beg them to let us do this. And they, they, gave, they said, okay, three minutes. Deal. And we shot so quick. Yeah. Oh, my God. I could not believe we got away with shooting this. I think it's the only time in history I ever shot a scene in within, like, five minutes. Yeah. And really turned is. out really good. Yeah, like for it looks, five it minutes. looks fantastic. Um, we had a really odd spot of, I guess you'd call it luck. Um, I, my uh, car got wrecked by this old lady. And it, I had a Mustang at the time, red Mustang. And uh, we end up chasing these guys down a little bit later. In the movie you'll see, or you should know. I hope you're not watching this as your very first time watching the movie. <laughs> but yeah, we, we end up uh, chasing down these guys, and uh, it, it turned out really luckily that we got a we we didn't have the red car twice. And this is this is so much of just absolute over the top druggy behavior. Oh god. I I felt dirty filming the scene. Yeah? Kind of yeah, I kinda of felt dirty. It was I don't know why he's still in the studio. Why he has <laughs> not been fired yet. Uh he you know he, he drank and cussed out some people on air. Um He was also originally supposed to be Russian. Yeah. He's like, oh I could totally do a Russian accent. Nope. Also, he also killed the previous uh, reporter, or the previous uh, host of the news. Well, no, she's just dead. We don't know if he killed her. Well, I've always that's, that's the way I always looked at it. Anyway. That's how he got the job, and he's just really shady character who would totally. Kill I do him. like that mirror. It looks great. Oh yeah, I love this. This is definitely. Oh, that's a good shot right here. Yeah. <laughs> it's very '90s kind of for me. Like that's how I look at it. I don't know why. <laughs> He's pretty. This scene, it's up and down for how good he is. In it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Everybody yells at their phones. Uh, I've never seen anyone actually do that, but it's awesome. <laughs> Oh. Inception just worked so well. Uh, I don't know. This is a scene that I wish we would have figured out a better way to pace this scene in, or put this scene in there. Yeah. Where the fuck is that baby back bitch, Bobby? Yeah. I love that line. <laughs> Nathan is so intimidating in this movie. Where's the Bobby? Not right now, woman. 
tripod. Um, <laughs> that's actually reverse. No one can tell. <laughs> oh, this is great. <laughs> and get ready for the weather to change drastically. Now! <laughs> Damn you, Furious Forecaster! Rest line. Thanks to Kevin for doing the British voice. It was awesome. Uh, the most annoying just part about this us scene. pushing each other. <laughs> the most annoying thing about that scene was we kept on having people like saying, "What are you guys doing filming on the side of the street?" Yeah. That you had so many people like you know, like you can't film on our you know, on our our uh, building on our building. You, man. We're like we're not filming your building. We don't want you part of our movie. And like, why would you even care? It's like, dude, you're. Uh, why do you have a sign? Right. If you don't want people to notice your damn building. Can barely see the cardboard uh, rain protector there. <laughs> this is cool. <laughs> I wish I'd shot that at a better angle. Um, you can't quite tell he kicked open the door. <laughs> Dude, just let it drop out of your mouth. <laughs> it was so awkward and slow. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Video's freezing up. No, now. it's not. It's Remember not? I had to use still images? Oh yeah. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I love that line. I would say Andrew's definitely one of those characters that just, you know, definitely surprised me. Oh, yeah, as far as, That's the thing, he doesn't like to act, but he's awesome at it. Yeah. Um, that looks pretty good, I think. Yeah. Uh, overall, I mean, you can tell it's fake, but it's, it's not, like, as bad as some of the other effects. Yeah. <laughs> See, I found CGI snow now. I wish I had it, just to make <laughs> this scene more consistent. Like, the one time it was <laughs> snowing in December... We're blind. <laughs> you see some? No, I just went blind actually. Just this second. Um, <laughs> great, great running gag. Great running gag. I think it's hilarious. Uh, you can't see. You can't tell back there. So that works. This is ridiculous. Uh, this this is the most ridiculous scene, hands down. I love the use of the music in the here too. Oh yeah. <laughs> And Bobby wanted me to shoot this closer, but we ended up. I just, this angle is just so over the top. It's yeah, it works. <laughs> <laughs> I just love because it also gives like the point of view of people besides other uh, other than us as realities. Yeah. <laughs> Call me. <laughs> and that's actually that's probably one of my better dubs. Uh, you, it's harder to tell that it's that yeah. it's dubbed there. Love that shot. Oh yeah, it's cool. Only problem is the movement of the camera as opposed to the... And this is... Yeah, you can tell this was shot different days. I wish I'd color corrected that better. <laughs> Shadow break. <laughs> uh, this doesn't hold up as well to me. Yeah. I think it was a funny idea, just I think the shitting the brick worked better. Yeah. I actually found the CGI church set, by the way. Um hi from my brother Kane. Why are you hiding? I love this joke. Well it all started earlier today at my house. Hey, my friend Ian. Summarize the my brother's phone and now he's out to hunt us. And he's out for blood. Sounds like a stupid plot to a movie some kids from the basement. <laughs> I'm surprised how easy that is to do. 
But the looking at having two people look at the camera at the same time. Oh yeah. We've gotten lucky as hell every time we've done that. Yeah. Like I think every, we just timed it right. Uh, it helps that we're so in sync with this. Um, I think we had to do that take like two or three times though, didn't we? Yeah, but still, like for having to do that, it's still. And you guys couldn't look at each other. Yeah. Like when we did a uh, Batman Day last week. Yeah. Um, we did that in the video, and we didn't even play it. Just looked up, looked at the same time. Cool. Anyways, it kind of made me fun to screw Pete for the last four years of my life. Sounds like you said 40. <laughs> you guys? How so? Okay, well, I like Nick as, as a priest. It, it totally works. <laughs> Jedis. See, first one. And this however, born of a virgin mother, just like Jesus Christ. <laughs> Second one. Yoda. This is the only one that isn't funny to me. We're the only guy. Moses. We're the only guy. Knows everything about God. And they both have canes. That's what? the only part of the like the comparisons that doesn't that doesn't you hold up for me. Really? The yeah. old, old, the two old guys with canes that know everything. You know, they're, they're the all knowing guys. It it just it doesn't work as well to me. I think it is the weakest one of all of them, but yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I got surprisingly good at that. Um, with the lightsaber effect. Yeah. <laughs> I never paid you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, that worked so well. Yeah. Matt saves the day. <laughs> Here I come to save the day. <laughs> Means that Matt is on his way. And actually, he does stop. Yeah. Just saying, you see him stop right there. Such a random ass joke. The song really did work out pretty good. Yeah, I do like it. Um, we got pretty lucky with the little amount of traffic we had on this. Yeah. Um, because this had to be sped up since it was, you know, snowing. We couldn't uh, film, like, actually driving fast. And Matt was, did not want to swerve or do yeah. anything cool. He swerved, but it wasn't dramatic enough for it. Uh, it's one of those things, if you're in the car, you can tell we swerving, but if you're from the camera point of view, you not really. Mm. And that's me driving as Nate, um, which actually worked fairly well. You can see it, like, in a couple of these shots. That's actually Nate driving. That isn't digital. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Mom. <laughs> oh, and I also want to thank Scott for risking his life. Oh yeah, because Scott's hanging out of Nick's car, holding on to the roof. Yeah. Covered in snow. This shot right here is, yeah, that's Scott just holding out. Actually, it almost fell a couple times, too. Yep. So. Now he gets into it with the swerving around and stuff. Yeah. I like this. Well, oh, this yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just, it's a shame though, like, we didn't have more scenes inside the car though. Yeah, it's just because we were running out of time. Uh, we yeah. had to shoot this. Literally, that's a that's a uh, rental car. And I had to return it, like, what, an hour after we finished shooting? Yeah. Uh, Which definitely worked for this, that scene that day, I, I think, uh, for, like, acting wise. It just, it gave us a sense of uh, urgency. Yeah. Which that scene is definitely. Yeah. I like this shot. People don't. I think it's cool. With it where it's in the distance and uh -huh, stuff, and I like coming it. towards the camera like that, mm -hmm. and cutting back and forth. No, actually, listen, having listened to Straight Outta Compton a lot more since editing this, uh -huh. I really wish we'd gone with the third guy's verse as opposed to the second guy's. Because huh. once you hear the third guy's verse, it's actually a lot more fitting of Nathan's character. Hmm. Here's a cool pass of the camera that I like. Um, right in a second. Yeah, here we go. I must we say, were all we were on a three-way call with speakers. This was the most intense scene we've ever filmed. Oh yeah. So objective two. I just like I like that past the camera because you can see me driving, but mm. you can't tell it's me. Uh, and I, I love this joke. And also, the, thanks to Nick for uh, helping out with that scene too. Oh yeah. I don't even care that 
it's snowing. It looks awesome with this just... It's so damn abstract here. Yeah. And, like, at first it doesn't make any sense, but then, like, as it goes on, I think it really does. I love it. Just the script changing it, you know, literally, you can physically form right now. It's awesome. Yeah, it, it, and you can see, it like, really... it's, it starts out all, like, dark, and then I did this cool color shift to make it, the whites really pop. Um, I think we did pretty good job, besides the snow. And I like that you can see everyone's, like, facial expression. It actually looks like it's frozen. Yeah. <laughs> Nathan did a pretty good job holding the gun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it helps that the camera's not on a track, so it's harder to tell if people are moving. Matt's just sitting there. He didn't understand, look scared. <laughs> um, <laughs> but it kind of works almost. A little bit of character, but uh, I don't know. Like, I think that's a stretch, to be honest with you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which, see, that was a good cut. I, I yeah. think the pacing gets better the longer the movie goes. Mm -hmm. um, and I, this was all Bobby's idea right here to have the you know Sin City style uh, black and whites with the reds. It would have helped if it wasn't winter, yeah. um, so you could tell that it was actually black and white in every scene. But I still really like it. Visually, I wish I would have had real uh, good looking shoes. Yeah, and like that's the thing is you could have you you yeah, I know, I know. had a pair. You I, just decided not to. Bring I thought them. I fit my character better not to. Yeah. This the the. And those are actual purple shoes, people. Um. And green socks. Yep. <laughs> Ignore that part. Man, this looks damn sexy. Yeah, it does. It's, <laughs> it's pretty fucking cool. Uh. And I couldn't keep your shirt blue for some reason. It wouldn't let me keep it going. With I think it's because of the sky. Uh, it was a pretty hmm. blue sky from what I remember that day. Yeah. That was just so vivid. <laughs> yeah. Ears go red because it was so cold. Um, look, guys, come closer. I need you to come closer. Please come closer. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> this was a pretty good fight scene for like not having it choreographed at all. Like, yeah. It was all on spot. It was pretty good. Like I like my stuff a lot better. Um, yeah. Than yours obviously, but that that first knee really works for you. She had a broken rib. Really? Yeah. Like you broke her rib? Uh, apparently, um, I'm not sure if I was the one, but apparently she found out she had a broken rib. And that's why her her forgot. Dude, go. Go now. <laughs> <laughs> Love the pink guitar. <laughs> it actually turned out pretty well. Yeah. It's kind of hard to tell the guitar was pretty broken. I don't know what happened with the burrs. They actually looked a lot better in uh, the editing as opposed to when I was working on them. Yeah. <laughs> the Sin City, I think it was the camera that like kind of ruins the Sin City and parts of this. It was, my biggest thing I did not like about the film in the scene was, uh, uh, when it, I, did, I didn't want to punch a woman. Yeah. And you can tell, like, I, I'm holding my, uh, punches back. Mm -hmm. I agree. Thank you for not telling me about this part. Yeah, dude, I, I knew, like, as soon as we were plotting this scene, I knew I was going to do that. <laughs> and I just, I was not going to tell you at all. Bobby's stomach! <laughs> <laughs> I like this, where you see the reflection. Mm -hmm. I thought that was cool. Um, I know it's a really random thing to like, but I, I just enjoy that. <laughs> <laughs> yes. This is so much fun. I can die happy now. <laughs> <laughs> this is why we make movies. <laughs> this... This is the reason for these moments. Um, and it's surprisingly hard to remember to shut a door all the way, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Sith priest randomly shows up. David's there. And it's just everybody, like, the only thing that could have made this better is if Phil was in this scene as the time traveler. Oh, God. And originally Phil was supposed to be David's part, but it just, I, I don't care. It, the only thing that would have made this work better is if we had all the characters in this. Yes. From the first movie and that the two awesome. as well, I don't care. <laughs> oh, man. 
No one was really giving any direction on uh, what to do through the hallway besides uh, just run. That's yeah. all I. And we all, I, everyone did a great job, like coming up with their own ideas. Just yeah. How to be good yourself. D- it was funny when I asked David to do this. He goes, "Only if I get to have a different item every time." And I was like, "I wouldn't have it any other way." <laughs> <laughs> This is the one time you see one, uh, you see a little unhappy. Yeah. He must have enjoyed the hallway guy. He's like, did I really do that? <laughs> that was awesome. Oh, I gotta go back to being a bad guy now. <laughs> Chris looks at the camera. We're so lucky this is a comedy. Why? <laughs> because we actually messed up right there. We filmed that on a separate day. Yeah. Potentially it was... Uh, we forgot Nathan stays in the house. Yeah, I just, like I was saying, Jasmine just is the most ridiculous in this. She, she's either <laughs> crying or just, like, utterly w- filled with joy like you're about to see. It's <laughs> <laughs> like, what <laughs> save her? <laughs> uh, your bitch ass. <laughs> yeah, just looking at this, I really wish we just grabbed a still image of us sitting like that. Yeah. It would have looked a lot better. You can barely see her mouse move anyway, so. Mm-hmm. That's the thing is, we could have animated our mouths moving. We yeah. just got two pictures, one with our mouths open, one with them closed. <laughs> oh my god. That would have been easy. I got a little carried away with the lightsaber there. <laughs> got a little fat. Um, I love it. If that shouldn't work at all yeah. for a uh, bullet and lightsaber, but you know what? Fuck George Lucas, this is our universe. So. Right, right. And he just steps on Nick. <laughs> <laughs> and Chris was like all like concerned about, oh, I'm gonna give him my wallet, and you can't even tell. You just see something gets dropped on Nick. <laughs> Not a very, you know, typical Jew moment. And it's your life, your money. Uh. And here's me just, like, look look at my face after I put on this coat. It's just, I'm so, like, I, I was, it was cold, it was raining, I was like, fuck it, I'm just gonna grab a coat. Yeah, look at this jacket, it's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, a thought bubble would be amazing. Oh, God, yes. That's a cool jacket. I like it. Definitely not bad. That was a good gunshot, huh? Boom. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't love the Joker music. Oh yeah, it's perfect. And uh, I remember that one better than it looked. I'm so so angry at Wonder Boy. Yeah. That was so cool. Going <laughs> to be him. See, the audio here works. It's just really quiet. Um, yeah. <laughs> the gloves really worked nice for uh, Wonder Boy. Oh yeah, you can't even tell that they're rubber gloves, which like they totally are. It's it's like so weird how well it matches the cape as far as on camera goes. Yeah. <laughs> We're on a bridge! <laughs> it's so weird because it's like Nate's writing it, but really I'm writing it. <laughs> and this wasn't actually in the original uh, version of the script. We wrote this in after the fact. Uh, it's just like, you know what? This movie can end a lot more hilari- hilariously. <laughs> I love the suits in the scene. Just oh, it's it's so classy. <laughs> and then there's Scott. It's you can tell it's cold out, people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the perfect way to that then. All right, now parts of this are obviously fake, but uh, the bars are the one that fool a lot of people. Yeah. Tom is awesome. For so brief and Batman. Batman. The, Batman. the universal geek out moment. <laughs> God, that suit looks so awesome. Yeah. It's a $1,300 Batman costume. Um, no. 
and he's like, what? Oh. Irony. Would, would, would that be irony? The fact that I'm voicing Batman? No. What would that be called? Or just, or just, you know? that's, just, that's just cruel punishment. <laughs> <laughs> this is so cool. Uh, we, we got lucky with the shot right there. Yeah. As soon as you guys went through, run out. It's just... Fuck this shit. <laughs> See, it looks like it was shot on a different day, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. It's weird because like the sun kept coming on, off and on, basically. Um, and apparently, Bobby doesn't understand that the tie goes in underneath the vest. He kept pulling it out. It was so weird. <laughs> it was a weird. I don't know. It was one of those weird nervous habits. I guess. I just I thought I kept like looking like Bobby. The tie goes under. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of took a little too long for Batman to run on screen. But, yeah, I agree. But <laughs> <laughs> no natural audio. I'm pat, going to pat, pat. pat. <laughs> 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 it's so dark. <laughs> like everyone's expecting such a happy ending because it's like this movie that we made with our friends. <laughs> Bobby's soul is just crushed. <laughs> great idea by Matt for uh, having the credits be this. Yeah, great idea. <laughs> that looks cool. <laughs> that was definitely cool. I like this one because you don't, you can't tell if it comes out of his nose. Um, it happens real quick. He may not be the hero we deserve. Paji, our universal character. He's in everything. We have two continuities of movie lines, and he's in both. <laughs> well, actually, this is in the same canon. Um, because there's a lot of references to Seether. Ah, oh, true. Oh, <laughs> uh, this is so fun. <laughs> that was so hard to do. <laughs> you guys have no idea. <laughs> I found out such an easier way to do it now. It's ridiculous. A bunch of squares. Mm. I just, I like this song. I like it too. He was the voice for, uh, the, uh, one of the bank robbers. Yep. Well, not bank, but yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, they could be bank robbers. Even though I'm pretty sure they weren't since. Events! <laughs> <laughs> Samuel L. Motherfucking joke. I've been wanting to use that joke for so long. <laughs> Family video. Family video. <laughs> really? You don't say. <laughs> I think this is the greatest credits image ever. Yeah. <laughs> that was definitely an awesome credits. Uh, credit scene. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This was probably one of the more complicated uh, credit scenes we ever had to do because we actually had a lot more music. <laughs> music and um. Yeah, it was weird when we were going through uh, crediting all the musicians. We were like, man, all right. We basically had to think through the entire movie. Yeah. Oh shit, we forgot about Matt. <laughs> oh. This is the joke that everything Matt had been in had been building up to. This one single joke. And I think it's awesome. I've been wanting to use this for years. It was awesome. I, I, I believe he told me about this joke uh, what was it like, when we were in drama class. Mm -hmm. and that was back in like, what? Uh, oh, oh, six, oh, oh, seven? Oh, six, yeah. <laughs> Matt just kept trying to find reasons to smoke in the scenes. <laughs> it was so weird. Um, 
This is actually, I think, probably Matt's best acting in the whole movie. Oh, yeah. He does angry a lot better than he does happy. Yeah. <laughs> True. True. <laughs> I told Drew about it, like, and then thunderclap goes, classic, no, no, you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that took so many takes to hit Matt in the balls. <laughs> it's so random, too. There's no <laughs> explanation. We don't see any kids. Originally, I wanted it to be a newspaper, and the funny thing is that we saw this guy <coughs> riding through the uh, street on a bike. I'm like, yo, yo, pay for what? Paper, it was a legit paper boy. I was like, dude. I love the ending of this part. It's just, it's so fit for you. Know, this was kind of a Looney Tune movie kind of movie. Yeah, it was. I mean, I, I, I tried to flag this dude down. I'm like, guys, dude, come here. He came over. It's like this old man on a bike. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, would you film something with us? <laughs> no. Damn it. I remember that. Like, it's like me, uh, Matt, and Drew just standing there. And, like, Ian's not like, stop talking to us. What he's going to do? He just he starts running <laughs> after the guy. Yo, paper boy! Don't pay for stop! <laughs> I just, where did Ian go? <laughs> and like Matt and Drew are just like really confused, like what's going on? What's he doing? But you you knew by that point of the way, don't don't you're just like don't question it. Yeah, just just, just let him do his thing. <laughs> It'll all work out. Um, yeah. Man. Uh, uh. Well, that was the commentary, guys. Sorry about that uh, technical glitch in there. Yeah. But, yeah, it's... God, it's still a good movie. There's there's some issues, and that's the thing, is I actually became more of an editor through this movie. Yeah. You know? I'd done a little bit here and there beforehand, but it was the process of making this movie that got me to the point I am with editing. So, and you've improved so much over the last year. Yeah, right? So much. Yeah, that's... watch the intros to Geeky Gentlemen. It's like, holy crap. That actually looks legitimately good. Um, man, any anything else to say, Bobby? Um, I like the, uh, this. Pretty much, this is the last thing for you know for us for this movie. What with the commentary on it? Yeah, so this commentary is the last step for the whole process of all the movie. So it's yeah, it's been about a year now since this came out. Interesting. I don't know. Yeah. Should should I go all George Lucas with it and go update the effects? <laughs> uh, maybe in another year or so. <laughs> Who shot first, Nate or the Jedi? <laughs> <laughs> oh god! Well, yeah, I'd just like to thank everyone for you know for that helped us with the movie. That was yeah, it was, it was a great time. Oh man, see you guys. See you.